Welcome to Core Crunch today for March 12, 2019. This is where we give you a quick look at some of the biggest Core Crunch stories from the past 24 hours. If you want to learn more about these stories in the show notes down below, I'll put a link to each story so you can read about them for yourself and come up with your own opinions, your own ideas about them. If you're new here, hey, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It'll be a huge help to us. We would really appreciate it. And hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost of cable TV. Now, there's quite a few news stories, so let's dive right into it. First of all, there's a great deal on the Roku Ultra. It is on sale for $79.99. I'll have a link to that deal down in the show. It's down below if you want to check that out. This is a, a very nice deal. The Roku Ultra has been going on and off sale. It's fairly new, so I don't think a new one's coming because this was just updated last fall, uh, but you never know. Though I will say this is, if you want a Roku, this is probably one of the best Rokus you can buy right now if portability is not an issue to you. If it is, maybe the Roku Stick Plus is what you want. Uh, the next one deal up there right now is Hulu and Spotify have teamed up for a special $9.99 deal. Right now, you can get Hulu's limited commercial on-demand plan and Spotify premium together for just $9.99. This is a great deal. Gives you access to uh, 40 million songs and 85,000 TV shows and movies. So if you've been thinking about getting uh, either Hulu or Spotify, you should check this out. I'll put a link to it again down in the show notes if you're interested. All right, jumping into the news stories for today. Get ready. Now, we just posted this, but get ready for a flood of anti-core cutting news stories. Now, as you've probably heard in the last 24 hours, DirecTV Now will reportedly raise the price $10 a month, roll out two new packages, replacing their existing packages. Um, if you're a current subscriber, our sources tell us that you will keep your package. New subscribers will be forced into one of the two new packages. But we're already seeing a flood of anti-core cutting related stories and tweets, basically saying, oh, you might as well go back to cable, core cutting costs more. Well, as you know, even with a $10 price hike, core cutting will still save you a lot of money. According to many studies, $85 a month is the average core cutting savings. Even if you cut 10 bucks out of that, that still saves you $75 a month in money. And of course, the truth is, if you're unhappy with DirecTV Now, you can always switch. We should be hopefully learning more about the DirecTV Now price change here in the next few days as AT&T gets closer to rolling that out. Put a link down in the show notes if you want to read more about the flood of anti-core cutting stories. And always remember, Bad news sells, so their ability to advertise like, hey, your price is going up, gets them a lot of page views. So keep that in mind. I have a full rebuttal to all those stories down in the show notes. Uh, for the sports fans, the next story is right for you. Um, so the ACC network, which will focus on ACC conference sports, so Clemson, uh, Georgia Tech, uh, Florida State, and more, all those uh, major sports teams, is having a network launch in August. So the ACC network will be similar to the Big Ten network or the SEC network. Um, that's already out. And we've learned that there's two live TV streaming services that will carry it out, Hulu and PlayStation View. Now, it's still early. These are just the two that have announced so far. Now, it's very possible that additional live TV services will carry it, so YouTube TV or Sling or other ones could add the ACC Network in the future. If you want to read more, see the promo for the ACC Network they've launched. Link down in the show notes. Let me know, are you an ACC fan? Will your um, ability to get ACC Network on PlayStation View and the and Hulu make you switch over to one of those services from maybe YouTube from DirecTV Now. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Also, jumping back to the uh, DirecTV Now story for this next one, DirecTV Now has updated their legal description for the free trials to add price subject to change. So a couple weeks ago, somebody pointed this out to us that the uh, DirecTV Now's little blurb underneath the free trial has changed. It changed some time a couple weeks ago. We have a link to archive.org that shows it before the change and after the change. And this once again points to the fact that, yeah, we are likely to see a price change this week from DirecTV Now, as it very clearly now states in their legal description, price subject to change. I'll put a link to that down below. And lastly, the story I want to spend the most time on is Apple will be having a big event on March 25th. We will, of course, cover it here and over at CoreCardsNews.com. But on March 25th, Apple is holding an event with the tagline, it, 
it's showtime. Everybody is pointing to this being the new Apple Live, or on demand, I should say, streaming service that's meant to take on Netflix and Hulu and the like. Reports are it will be announced this month, but probably won't launch this month. That's what Bloomberg has reported, and they seem to have had very good sources when it comes to this news, so we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But Core Cars News will be having live coverage. I'm thinking about doing a live stream commentary during it. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Would you love us to have a live commentary going on during the Apple event, stream live on YouTube? Would that be something you're interested in? Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and let us know. But I have full details of what we know, which honestly is not much. All we know is that reportedly Apple will, we know that Apple will be having an event on the 25th. We have reports from places like Bloomberg that this event will be the announcement of their new streaming service. Take that with a grain of salt. They've been wrong before, but they're right more often than not. So Question to you, would you like us to do a live stream? We will, of course, have coverage written on corecarsnews.com also. And, hey, thanks to everybody who's been commenting about these new core cutting Q, uh, weekly, or excuse, excuse me, daily core cutting recap shows. I'd love to know what you think of them. Uh, do you enjoy them? Is there something you'd like to see different from these? Leave us a comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. And I hope everybody has a great Tuesday. I will see you tomorrow with more news, tips, tricks, and how-to guides all about the world of core cutting.